Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Joined Forces uh, Extreme Super Battle Road stage and how you can beat it, uh, in this case, using a fully free to play team. Now before we get going on the units and everything, uh, I do just want to say, in terms of friendly, you are probably looking at using uh, the AGL, Super Saiyan, Goku and Vegeta. Uh, they just feel like the best unit for this, they are joint forces lead, uh, but yeah, they do good damage, they're going to be one of our rotational tanks uh, that we're going to use, and yes, we are using items in this run, because uh, we're using a whole bunch of free-to-play units. The other suggestions for joint forces units uh, are still pretty good, I think especially on the JP side, they have way more interesting units uh, with a couple easy A's that have come, but I do think overall, um, yeah, for me, uh, yeah, joint forces uh, is a pretty interesting category to say the least. Now let's talk uh, a little bit about like this team specifically. So obviously, uh, you know, as our lead, uh, we are using the physical uh, Ginyu or Captain Ginyu Ginyu Force. Uh, this is essentially a really 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 uh, good free to play unit obviously from battlefield shop you'll have to spend a, quite a bit of battlefield currency to get him he's 130 percent lead which is always super helpful and yeah in general it's just a really good pickup now of course you have a lot of joint forces leads that you could use uh, you've got the agl super saiyan goku and vegeta you've got the strength android uh, 17 hellfighter 17 uh, you've got the physical blue boys uh, you've got Kale and Kefla, you've got Android 17 and Golden Freezer. Yeah, you've got a lot. You've got a lot of great options. Uh, of course, you know, you don't have to use a Joint Forces lead. That's kind of what I'm showing you. But those are kind of your standout options. But from the free-to-play side, we'll be using, uh, obviously, mainly uh, this uh, combination of Captain Ginyu. Uh, then, in terms of the other units we're going to be using, we have the AGL, Bubbly, and Debora. Uh, and we have the AGL 17 and 18. So AGL Bubbly and Deborah, very helpful unit. Uh, they obviously have that ability of stunning on the 18 key, they seal on their 12 key. Both of these are very useful mechanics for the ESPR stage. Uh, and they also obviously have the ability uh, to you know, do extra damage when the enemy is in attack down and defense down, uh, which is honestly quite solid. So they're pretty good from a utility standpoint and very much so the Android 17 and 18 also quite solid. Uh, they obviously debuff the opposition, which is really helpful. But what they do do uh, is they have a lot of buffs when we're facing super class uh, enemies, which we are doing the entire way through. So they do pretty much come in handy uh, quite dramatically. Then we have the AGL uh, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Uh, kind of completing a very obviously AGL centric uh, heavy lineup that we do have. So obviously we do have quite a few AGL type units. Uh, this is Super Saiyan Goku Jr. Vegeta Jr. And you know, they do okay. Um, I'm not going to say they do spectacularly, but they do okay. And uh, they're more like a floating damage dealer. You could uh, technically place them with like a lot of joint forces units, uh, even free to play ones. There are some more interesting options, but I just wanted to try these guys out. Uh, like I said, you could potentially replace them uh, with even, you know, like the tech uh, Captain Ginyu Goku Ginyu Force uh, unit. That could be a fairly solid pickup. So yeah, um, obviously then we have the uh, Int Shadow Dragon Legion, uh, a helpful unit that's providing a lot of uh, good coverage in terms of utility as well. We have that lowering of attack on the 12 key, we have that medium chance of stunning on the 18 key, uh, and we just, in general, uh, provide some really, really good utility. So it's just another stunning unit, another attack lowering unit, and decent raw stats on them, you know. Um, although we were not obviously utilizing their support so much, uh, they are still a very decent raw stat kind of unit, uh, and things, you know, function pretty well with them. Uh, they can tank hits, they seem to do okay, uh, and generally they hold their own quite well without necessarily uh, being too big of a risk factor. 
and then finally uh, we have the Super Saiyan Trunks and Broly obviously a relatively new unit uh, that's definitely you know at least from my angle a very nice unit uh, that's solid as a pickup uh, good damage dealer you know they create rainbow key sphere orbs which is pretty good uh, they then also have that high chance of performing a critical hit uh, and after super they are actually quite tanky you know they have that damage reduction and everything that they've got going for them uh, so in general they are pretty good um, you know I think they're a good damage dealer uh, they mesh decently with the AGL Goku and Vegeta as well uh, sharing a decent chunk of links with them not a huge number but a decent chunk nonetheless and this enables them to run pretty well overall of course we're using items uh, as you can see but generally speaking we handle the stage uh, with relative ease your combinations of units are going to be the AGL Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta uh, and you're going to kind of nestle them alongside the tech Trunks and Broly and then on the other rotation it's going to be a little bit more interesting uh, and a, a little bit weaker almost uh, with the AGL Bubba D and the Bora and the uh, AGL Android 17 and 18 now you don't have to link these two in fact if you use the physical uh, LR Bubba D and Boo uh, you might actually have a really 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 good combination of units in your hands as well so uh, there is a lot that you can do which is awesome uh, and there's a lot of changes you can make to this team you've got Intermetal Killer Army you know, you've got uh, the physical Boo and Bubba D and then just strictly talking like non free to play units there's a huge uh, array of joint forces units that you can use from Trunks and Vegeta to the Super Saiyan Trio to the you know AGL LR Blue Boys uh, you've got the Tech God Boys, Tech Go Bros I mean the list is crazy and that's just looking at LRs you know that's not even concentrating or considering uh, the SSRs or the TURs you know, like Android 17 and 18 who are really really good you've got like the Ginyu Force combo units so yeah realistically there is just a very cool um, level of units now for joint forces and the fact that they actually have a couple joint forces leads means that the category is actually not too bad to run uh, it, it used to be terrible to run joint forces back in the day but either willingly or not they've actually added quite a few really good ways to uh, kind of benefit and yeah, just make a, a really strong functional team so yeah uh, it was overall a really fun run um, obviously doing it free to play pretty cool but this is quite an expensive free to play team uh, you've got like I think two battlefield LRs in here which is like three million in battlefield currency alone so it was quite tough uh, or it is quite difficult to get but make some alterations and I'm sure you'll have a good time and let me know what teams you're using in the comments down below I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, until then, as always, take care, stay safe, and yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye.